Hi YouTube. Today I am going to show you how to restore your default GPO settings in your server 2012. So the restore the to restore the default GPO settings you can do it only through one option and that option is to command prompt so it just involves only one command to restore the default GPO settings of both default domain policy and default domain controller policy so I'm just going to show you uh, what are the default settings I'm go going to reset and these are the two settings which I'm going to reset so for example I'm just going to change some of the policy in security settings account policy password policy I'm just going to input the password display as 10 passwords to get remembered so I'm just I have just kept 10 passwords to get remembered in the password history I'm just selecting ok so here it has given it it has a 10 password to remember so uh, I'm just closing it I'm just closing this default domain controller sorry so now I'm going to run a command called So this is the command which I'm going to run. It's called as a, a DC. DC stands for domain controller and GPO. GPO stands for group policy objects and fix. DC GPO fix. So this is the command I'm going to run to reset both the domain default domain policy and default domain controller policy. So if you want any clarification, you can just read have a go to here to get a clean understanding so now I'm just going to run this DC GPO fix so here you can see a warning call you will lose any changes you have made to this GPOs that is a default domain policy and the default domain controller policy and this unit is implemented only for disaster recovery process so I'm just going to show you only the tutorial so don't try these settings in uh, real time active directory that is the domain server it will clearly vanish all your settings from the domain controller policy and the domain policy that is a default domain controller and default domain policy so here I am just going to select Y and just hit enter so it will again ask for user rights so I'm just going to select Y again so that's it here you can see the default domain control policy was restored successfully and the default domain policy was restored successfully so in order to confirm this I'm just going to go to the to policy management console just refresh it and default domain control policy I have just made a setting I'm just going to the password settings go to windows settings go to security settings account policy password policy and here you can see as the info password history was not defined so this is how you can reset the default domain policy on the domain controller policy Thank you for watching the video.